I'm not afraid of death anymore. And I think a lot of the struggle that we have in life comes from a deep, deep fear of death. Uh, and it can take its, it can take form in many ways. Uh, one can be that, uh, you know, we want to write the great American novel, or we really want to achieve something in this world. We want to build something. We want to, um, you know, build a great um, uh, piece of technology, or we want to start an amazing business, or we want to run for office and make a difference. Um, and a lot of that just comes from sort of this fear that we're going to die, so we have to build something that lasts beyond us. Uh, obviously, also the obsession that parents have with their children. I mean, a lot of that is warranted in biological love, but some of that is also the quest for immortality. Even some of the beliefs and some of the more out outlandish parts of organized religion, I think, fall into that. And I don't have that quest for immortality anymore. And I think I came to this fundamental conclusion. Um, I thought about it a lot, and we've been, the universe has been around for a long time. The universe is a very, very large place. If you study even the smallest bit of science, you realize that for all practical purposes, we are nothing. We're, we're like, we are amoeba. We're bacteria to the universe. Um, uh, we're, we're basically monkeys on a small rock orbiting a small backwards star in a huge galaxy which is in an absolutely staggeringly gigantic universe which itself may be part of a gigantic multiverse. And this universe has been around probably for 10 billion years or more and will be around for tens of billions of years afterwards. So your existence, my existence, is, is just infinitesimal. It's like a firefly blinking once in the night. So we're not really here very long and we don't really matter that much. And nothing that we do lasts. So eventually you will fade, your works will fade, your children will fade, your thoughts will fade, this planet will fade, the sun will fade, it'll all be gone. There are entire civilizations that we just remember now with one or two words, like Sumerian or Mayan. You know, do you know any Sumerians or Mayans? Do you hold any of them in high regard or esteem? Have they outlived uh, their natural lifespan somehow? No. So I think we're just here for an extremely short period of time. Now from here, you can choose to believe in an afterlife or not. And if you really do believe in an afterlife, then that should give you comfort and make you realize that maybe, you know, everything that goes on in this life is not that consequential. Uh, on the other hand, if you don't believe in an afterlife, then you should also come to a similar conclusion where you should realize that this is such a short and precious life that it's really important that you don't spend it being unhappy. There's no excuse for spending most of your life in misery. You've only got 70 years out of the 50 billion or so that the universe is going to be around. And whatever your natural state is, it's probably not this. This is your living state, your dead state. Uh, is true over a much longer time frame. So when I think about the world that way, I sort of realize that it's just kind of a game, um, which is not to say that you go to a dark place and you start acting un unethically and immorally, quite the contrary. You realize just how precious life is and how uh, it's important to make sure that you enjoy yourself, you sleep well at night, um, you're a good moral person, you're generally happy, you take care of other people, you help out, but you can't take it too seriously, you can't get too hung up over it, you can't make yourself miserable or unhappy over it. You just have a very short period of time here on this earth, nothing you do is going to matter that much in the long run. Don't take yourself so seriously, uh, and then that just kind of helps make everything else work. subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.